Today is Friday, September 20th. It is day two. I am Trenton. And I'm Izzy. Today's news is brought to you by WEP. Don't forget to let your court teacher know if you want to be on the nightly news this school year. The nightly news crew is in need of news anchors, weather people, sports broadcasters, roving reporters to ask really great questions, and camera operators. We have our very first cot reading winner, Amanda Dahlheimer, got cot reading by Miss Jules. Stop by the media center to claim your prize. It's time for sports news with Jonah. Just a reminder that this is the last week to get your Fire Up 5K form in to guarantee a t-shirt. You can still register the day of the race, but t-shirts are first come first serve. And don't forget the cost for students is only $10. Tomorrow is the Kick It for Eli Kickball Tournament at the Rec Center in St. Michael. It will take place from 7.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. and p.m. There will be raffles, food, activities for kids, t-shirts, and lots of fun while helping support an STMA high school student. Before we head back to the studio, we have a short commercial break brought to you by Student Council. Introduction to Homecoming Week. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday is Formal Day. Wednesday is Neon Day. Thursday is Sports Day. Friday is Blue and Gold Day. Some extra activities for Homecoming Week are the grand opening of the school store will be on September 27th. Donuts will also be on sale that day in the concession stand for $1 each. Thank you. I can't wait for the homecoming game. And I'm excited about Spirit Day. And the nightly news crew is excited that there is, an, is a special guest in the studio this week. The Krabby Lady stopped by for a book talk. Let's hear what her book is all about. The Krabby Lady. Yeah. Hi, it's me. I just want to let you know, this book, Divergent, is not okay. I was up reading it until midnight last night. I'm tired. Look at my bags. You see the bags? Keep, oh, I can't do this sort of thing and be reading this book that keeps me up till midnight, being in these fractions. And then she goes into this dauntless fraction. All they do is like jump on trains and beat up people, and it's very physical. And that's not okay. Just doesn't go with my values, this divergent thing. Are they making a movie on it? Yeah, hope not. Don't read Divergent because it'll keep you up too late and that's awful. Now I have to take my medicine and everything else at a different time. <sighs> and you know what else is a problem? It's not just, it's just not me having to stay up. It's this book too. If the witness lied, Caroline. What kind of name is that? Caroline. Like how many syllables? <sighs> and then they start talking about about being in a reality show. Reality shows, that's trash. It's, nobody likes these reality shows these days. It's this person, this, they blame a baby. A baby for killing his father. Seriously, give the little baby a break. Babies are cute. They're supposed to be, they smell good and they're supposed to drink their milk and they're not killing their father. And then, oh yeah, there, there, the poor baby gets blamed for killing the father, and then all the siblings ditch him. Poor thing. Jack Fountain has to deal with that. Feels so bad for him. But good thing at the end, some people help out. And then they find out a witness lied. That's the title. You won't believe it. People disgust me these days. Don't read if a witness lied. It's trash. And Divergent, it'll make you stay up late. Don't do it. As fall is just around the corner, students, please remember to bring a jacket or sweatshirt with you to lunch for recess. You are not allowed to go back to your lockers during lunch. Speaking of fall, I believe the first day of fall is this weekend. Let's head to Garrett for the weekend weather forecast. Good morning. Today we will see our return on sunshine and only a high temperature of 64 degrees. On Saturday, it will be slightly warmer with a high of 66 degrees. Sunday is the first day of fall and the weather will be very typical for this time of year. Today is the last day to order a yearbook and receive free personalizations. You must order online for this fantastic option. 
Your books are $25 until October 20th. After that, they will cost $30, and you will have until December 31st to order a yearbook. So don't procrastinate and order your yearbook right away, because no extra yearbooks will be ordered. Fifth grade students, your presentation in the auditorium will take place today. And sixth grade students, after court today, you will be taking the NWEA math test. You will be testing with your third hour teachers. Listen carefully for your testing location. If you have Ms. Erdman, you will be in F115, which is a sixth grade lab. Mr. Lefebvre's class will be in F113 at the seventh grade lab. If you have Ms. Headland, you will be in G124, the fifth grade lab. Ms. Peterson's class will be in G127, which is Mr. Anderson's room. If you have Mr. Riles, you'll be in the Media Center. And if you have Ms. Bradeye, you will also be in the Media Center, but in Lab D136. If you have Ms. Schultz and your last name A through L, you will be in the Media Center Responsive Hour Lab. And if you have Ms. Schultz with the last name M through Z, you will be in uh, G125, which is Ms. Haugen's room. Ms. LaFlave's class will be in C149, which is Mr. Dvorak's room. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.